Hello everyone and welcome back to Mossley Farm here in Stardew Valley and I find myself in a little bit of an embarrassing pickle today. I got over eager as usual when it comes to the mines and ended up fainting in the skull caverns yesterday and left behind all of my farm equipment. So we need to actually head out to Calico Desert and I need to go get my farm equipment back from the mines today. But it looks like Leia has actually stepped up and she is helping us out by having taken care of the crops. Leia, thank you. I was really worried she'd be furious that I got myself into life-threatening situations down in the skull mines, but she seems to have a to have a somewhat forgiven me. The cool breeze feels nice. It reminds me of living by the river. Oh, thank you, Leia. And she has watered all of the crops, too. So that'll make my job this morning very easy, especially considering the fact that I did faint last night, and so I wasn't able to bring back all of my equipment. Let's see what the mail says today. Uh, advertisement. Pierre's General Store is now open seven days a week. Oh, look at that. Dear Siri, you're such a good neighbor. I thought I'd send over some animal feed to make your job easier. Keep it up. From Marty. Oh, thank you, Marty. That was so cool. And then Robin's over here adding a cellar onto my house, which really must be kind of tricky when you already have the house built. So kudos to you, Robin. Kudos to you. I'm going to come over and leave behind the bait. And I guess I can take the hay with me and we can go ahead and take care of the animals today. I can plant the wheat for lack of any other thing to really plant. There's an eggplant, at least. Yeah, look at that. Thank you so much, Leia. She has taken care of most of our crops. Oh, there's multiple apples. I didn't know if you forgot to harvest your apples, the apple tree would just give forth more apples. That's the best thing ever. Oh my gosh. I really want to start turning some of these apples into a uh, cider as well. So I need to get more kegs for sure. That's definitely something that I need to work on. Here's some cranberries that we can sell. So there's lots of little projects to keep us plenty busy here on our farm. I am quite content. Tent. I think we'll have tons and tons of work to do. I'm really excited to get the oh dang it I can't I can't reach I can't reach there we go I couldn't reach the mushroom for a second because I didn't have the ability to get back there without my um without my axe to clear the way for me. Let me gather up these artichokes. Uh, should I just sell everything? I'm not sure. I'll try we'll see how many artichokes I can get from putting them in the seed maker. And then I'm going to go ahead and toss all of these in here. Uh, the sunflowers, I'll go ahead and sell the higher level sunflowers. And we'll plant the sunflower seeds. And I can give these sunflowers away as gifts, I think. That would be a pretty good thing to do. And I can plant these uh, yam seeds as well. Oh, and I want to sell the eggplant. Yay, there we go. I need to put some of the other things I have away. I am carrying some beets around that we can turn into sugar. But yeah, there's plenty of things to keep us busy on our little farm that don't even have to do with uh, like in gamey stuff. So I'm, I'm just, I just love Stardew Valley. I just love it so much. I'm not sure if this amaranth is ready to harvest, but I can't touch it anyway. So that's okay. All right, let's plant some more of these seeds. There we go, some sunflower seeds. And then we'll see how many artichoke seeds I managed to snag. Three artichoke seeds from two artichokes. Hmm, not quite the trade-off that you might really hope for, but not terrible either. And I'm just gonna plant all of these wheat seeds so that there's something in all these empty plots and we're not wasting any space. And it looks like we have some space up here. I actually love doing it this way too, where we just have like a general idea of where some crops will go. But then in other spots, if there's just room that needs filled in, why not just throw down whatever we have in our pockets for it? All right, let's see what's going on in here today. Hello, everyone. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. There's some duck mayonnaise now. A wonderful day inside the chicken coop. Why are you guys all inside? Why aren't you guys enjoying the nice day? You don't have to stay inside, you know. This is actually really weird to see all my animals inside on a nice day. The reason we have... The reason we keep so much grass outside is so you guys can enjoy it. Oh, somebody closed your door. What? That's not right. Come on out, everyone. Yeah, that's right. Everybody, come on. Come enjoy the beautiful weather. You don't have to be cooped up inside in your coop. Oh, and Noodle Doodles was given a bunch of water. Wonderful. Well, let's go check in. Our little dinosaurs are roaming free. And we'll check in on our cows and our deer. Look at them, you guys. Aren't they so cool? I love having these deer. They're gonna make little snorty noises like pigs, but actually it really does It really does fit deer. 
Oh, so cool. Yeah, I think today my goal is going to be going to the Skull Caverns and getting my stuff back, but also kind of exploring the Skull Caverns a little bit. I really, really want to do that. We haven't gotten a Prismic Shard yet. And there is that challenge. Let's see. Yeah, there is that challenge to reach level 25 in Skull Cavern. So I would like to try that out today. So even I'm going to tell Leia, look, look, I'm just going back. I'm just going back so that I can get... um. I can get my gear, but we're really going to go spend some time actually trying to do uh, a little bit of mining in the cavern. So I'm going to bring the bombs with me. I'm going to bring food with me. I have a lot of pumpkin soup. I'll take a pumpkin soup before I jump into the caverns. It should be pretty fun. Thankfully, to recover all of my farming equipment, I just have to go and dig it out of the the chest I have in the Skull Cavern, but I think it'd be fun to spend the day actually mining in there. I keep putting it off and like talking about how Leia wouldn't want me to mine in it, but I just want to do it for my own sake today. All right, there we go. Gonna make a whole bunch of awesome, awesome, awesome goat cheese. And we're gonna put away the milk and I have random things to sell because I have so many animals, so many animals. All right, let's gather up all of these. Wonderful, thank you guys. Oh, and I mean, going to the Skull Caverns and trying to gather up some ores would actually be a really good thing. So I can start working on some real projects that I have on our farm, such as being able to get more of the kegs because I need copper and iron to be able to work the kegs and I need a lot of oak resin. I should probably make some more tappers in order to help me get more oak resin because I'm gonna want tons and tons and tons of kegs and to make more tappers you really want to have more copper too so we'll have to see if copper is even one of the ores that i could possibly find um possibly even find inside of oh look at all the ancient fruit so much of it inside of the skull cavern i'm not sure if you can even find copper now that i think about it hmm we'll have to see all right, and I'm gonna plant all of these beet seeds. Now that I have seen how absolutely freaking cheap they are, if we go talk to Sandy, uh, I should just, I, I think I'm just gonna get in the habit of buying them instead of using the seed maker. 20 gold coins for those seeds so that I can make sugar, that's not bad. All right, and we'll put all these down and hopefully I can come by later tonight and be able to water everything that isn't getting watered just yet all right anything else i need oh we have we have strawberries that's so cool uh no i don't want to eat the strawberry and we'll harvest these up and i'm really looking forward to having a bigger greenhouse so that we can have just fun little rooms where we don't have to worry about money related crops and we can just focus on crops that would be really fun for story all right let's go but i told you guys that last time too so it's not going to be a surprise to you and all right where did roastone <laughs> oh cool there's some oak resin awesome i keep forgetting to get roastone because she disappears into these these tall grasses and she's over here with meteor our void chicken all right here we go i can't remember where i got my void egg if i remember correctly it was like a really random spot that i just managed to get lucky and snag a void egg from um and what should i do i'm gonna sell this hot pepper and this red mushroom actually because we don't really need to have them just clogging up my inventory for no good reason. And let's tidy up a little bit. I'm going to grab the bombs that we have. Oh, it's so late. How did it get so late? Oh my gosh. The day just ran past. I didn't even notice. Okay, Um. let's see. I'll sell these strawberries. I'm going to sell a bunch of these things. The snow yam I can keep. I'll go ahead and sell that mushroom and this yam and the void egg. Keep the wool. I forgot to drop off a bunch of this stuff, but that's okay. Um, and I'll keep the ancient fruit. Well, you know what? We harvest so much ancient fruit. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all of that ancient fruit, which seems really like out of hand. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep one, just in case I don't have a gold star for my um for my what am I trying to say? I need to keep a gold star for the Grange display that we can possibly have later in the week when we have the festival. Oh, speaking of in the week, is it is it Jody's birthday? It may be Jody's birthday. I need to take Jody a birthday present before I skitter off to the mines. It is Jody's birthday. Okay, I'll get her a diamond. And let's see. Weather report, clear and sunny all day. Fortune teller. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. That sounds like a time to go down to the mines if it ever did. 
Uh, oh, <laughs> looking to get married? You're going to need the mermaid's pendant. Everyone this side of the gym sea knows what it means when you give them a mermaid's pendant. Getting your hands on such a pendant can be tricky. Every region seems to have their own custom, but it always has something to do with the beach or ocean. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, and I'll give little Rowan a pat. Love my little baby boy. And then let me see, anything I want to take? I think I have plenty of food to actually take with me to the mines. And I can't wait till we get the cellar because then I can take things like the mushrooms and put them in a uh, a big giant the crate, like a big giant chest that we can keep downstairs. Uh, do I have these mushrooms in here? I sure do. And then I'll leave the yams and there's the apples. All right. And I can drop off the oak resin. And then I'm going to go look for Jody and take her a diamond as a gift and I need to give my wife gifts every day. I keep forgetting to give Leia gifts. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> That's so terrible. And whenever I give her gifts, wow, this is great. I'm really starting to enjoy my life on the farm, Siri. This is the life I've always dreamed of. Oh, yay, she's happy. But I keep giving like everyone else in the whole world gifts and not her. So I need to start like varying up what kind of gifts I give her. She does love driftwood. So it'd be fun to check like the crab pots every single day and see if I could snag some driftwood for her. Look, there's little wild plums and there's just like wild uh, blackberries everywhere. Hmm. I'm going to have to, I know this sounds terrible, but I'm going to have to look up what Leia really likes again so that I can try to remember, uh, oh, four red slimes deep in the lava caverns at the local mine. That would be kind of cool to go take care of. Do I have my sword? Where did my sword go? I didn't lose my sword when I fainted, did I? Because that was like, I know you can sometimes randomly lose items when you faint, but not my sword, my nice sword. Wait a second. Okay, uh, Pierre, where's your wife? I'm here. I'm here to give Jody a gift. Uh, she's not inside. She she's gonna be outside. Where is my sword, Elliot? Uh, yes, wonderful about your tiny crabs in your pockets. Where? Oh, where? Wait a second, Rosestone. Hang on now. Hey, Jody. Happy birthday. Maybe I've spoiled the boys a bit. I've never had to do any chores. Yeah, that's spoiling them, all right. There you go, Jody. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. I guess I want them to be able to enjoy their childhood while they still can. Well, Sam's basically a man now, though. I hope he hasn't grown up to be too lazy. That won't do. <laughs> Good point, Jody. All right. Well, hang on a second. I'm a little bit not happy about this situation. Where did my sword go? I think I have to go buy a new sword now. Because I'm 90% sure I didn't take my sword out. I didn't take anything sword related out of my inventory. Did they steal my sword? Did they steal my sword? Rosestone, this isn't right. We're going to ride all the way over. Oh, hang on just a second. Hey, Linus. There you go. How are you doing today, sir? The people here seem nice, but they avoid me. All right, this is not cool. Demetrius, my sword was stolen. Here, have a blackberry. Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. I'm going to run over here, and I think I need to buy a new sword. I haven't been in here for ages. I am so offended right now. There's mushrooms growing down there, too. Greetings to you, too, my friend. My good sword was stolen. I don't even know what kind of sword it was. I think it was a drop sword. Oh, I can't believe I lost my sword. I'm so mad right now. I am so not happy right now. <sighs> okay, let me think. Um, We could get the steel sword. Hmm, thankfully I can afford pretty much everything in here except for this one, the lava katakana. Um, hmm. Man, I can't believe I'm so... <sighs> sword got taken from you guys. All right, what am I wearing? Plus four defense and plus four immunity. I think my sword's gone and that makes me not happy whatsoever. Um, let's see, steel sword decreases speed. So I guess the steel sword is the best thing that I could possibly get right now. No, I think it increases speed. Huh. All right, I have to buy it. <laughs> I was so agitated. I can't believe that my sword got taken from me. I am not going to be forgiving those little those little creatures whatsoever. The Skull Caverns and I, we now have a very special competitive relationship. So time to go and tell them what for. I forgot that it's already 5 p.m. Can I even get to Calico Desert? I forgot to bring bombs. 
this is just a bit of a chaotic mess. Rosestone, stay here for a second. I know how to I know how to get there a little faster. Sorry, Rosestone, it's not personal. Ah, I can't believe this. All right, Pam, no! I needed, Pam, why? Yes, I wanna go. Oh, man. You guys, I missed it. I missed it because I realized they stole my sword at the last second. But you know what I can do? I can go to the normal mines today. I, I I can't get my farming equipment back. I should have made that a priority. This is teaching me to have to prioritize better. I'm going to take some deep breaths and just focus on that. It's teaching me to be better at going, oh, Siri, you know what you should work on? Actually getting your supplies back. That would be a good thing to do. So this is, this is okay. This is okay. It's going to make me have to take things more seriously because <sighs> that's my name. All right. So I think I'll go ahead and just dive into the mines then. Um... What do I have in here? I do have the bone sword in here, but I think that the steel sword is a lot better. And that was, I think, a rare drop sword that I lost. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. Let's go make things better by poking some of these creatures. Oh, and actually, you guys, this is perfect because I learned that these little football guys, oh, look, he dropped a crystal fruit. They have a very, very rare chance of being one of the only things in the entire world of Stardew Valley that will actually go ahead. Actually, maybe this sword is better. Cool. That will actually drop uh, coffee beans so we could have coffee beans. <laughs> So I could start growing coffee on the farm. I haven't seen coffee beans yet because they were added into the game after um, after spring, I think, and after summer. I'm not sure when the update was comparatively, but I haven't seen coffee beans yet, but apparently the little soot balls can carry them. Maybe that's why they're always jumping around. I get it. That's so cute. And maybe I should go get some more copper. Hmm. We'll have to see. All right, can't use the, oh well, maybe we ended up getting a better sword out of this and that was, hey, come on, face this way. And that was like half my problem with the experiments I was doing. Oh, and look, I got some copper ore from the ground. That's cute. All right, there we go. And let's take care, are you gonna give me a coffee bean? Whoops. No, but he did give me a little bit of coal, which is useful. All right. All right, well, into the caves we go. The bat is coming for me. No, face the right way. Okay, this may be good. I may need to practice being in these caves so that I can get it right before we go to the more difficult caves. All right, there we go. And we'll search in here. Yay, I found a piece of jade. I can give it to the little dwarf. So we can just pop out and try to befriend him. And let's see. Oh, did you guys find a little... Oh, I should probably get the blackberries out of the way. That's kind of tripping me up. There we go. All right. Oh, and when did I get these mushrooms? Oh, I must have picked them. Yeah, I picked them when I went to go visit with the guy uh, in charge of selling swords. All right. So my personal gr like uh, my personal grudge <laughs> against these skull caverns has just grown tremendously, and that's probably for the best. There's a little bit of amethyst. Here's a little bit of iron again, and there's some bat wings. Ooh, there's a little frozen tear. We can give that to Sebastian if we wanted to. All right, and let's continue on. Got a little slime chasing us. And actually, I would like to work on trying out the slime breeding abilities. Like you can breed the various slimes in your little slime hutch. I would love to try that out sometime. I think that would be interesting to experiment with. And let's come over here, but we need to build a slime hutch to do that. All right, there we go. Now we've got some fun music. I love the cave music. Fun fact, I actually listen to the Stardew Valley soundtrack when I'm doing chores in my house. <laughs> That's something I really do. Uh, anything I can see here? Not really, so let's continue moving on. <gasps> Whoa! We hit one of the, the rare overrun by monster areas. Time to take these guys out then. All right, maybe I did get a better sword, so maybe I did come out on top of all of this. Okay, this is what happened to get me in trouble yesterday, so let's not let this happen again. I'm going to be very proactive about these slimes. Oh, I just got a dwarf scroll. Come on, little slimes. Give me something special. And got the bat. All right. Did I? Oh, that's so cool. So I just got another artifact to add to my own personal museum, which is the shed we're going to build. You know what? We should build the shed soon. Uh, I want to get the rabbit hutch done for sure first, but I do think I need to find a cool place to stick my museum shed that I really want to build because that just sounds like it'd be so fun. All right. You guys going to give me anything useful? Come on. 
Hurry, I want to I want to move on so that I can work in other parts of the the cave systems. Hopefully parts that can give me fancy rewards. Maybe I should just go ahead and move on because getting slimed and slowly pecked to death by these guys isn't exactly my idea of the best of times. All right, there we go. Now everyone's lined up. Hi, little ones. Drop something useful and rare, okay? As I like bash you with a sword, I suppose. I don't know. I always, I never feel guilty about the slimes though because I feel like they can just reform into something as soon as I leave. All right, nothing in there. And let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way. Oh, there we go. A way down has appeared and dwarf scroll too. So that was pretty good for dwarf scrolls. Oh, that's interesting in the way down. <laughs> All right, time to leave the mine. All right, that was kind of fun. That was kind of fun. And let's come over. We'll talk to the dwarf and give him the piece of jade that I found. All right, there you go, Mr. Dwarf. There you go. You're not a spy sent by the shadow people, are you? I'm keeping my eye on you. All right, thank you, buddy. I have a whole bunch of dwarf scrolls now too, which is really fun. So I can add them to my collection. All right, so we did a little bit of mining and we got a little bit of iron ore, but where the real money is, is in making a ton of bombs and going down into the big caves, going down into the skull caverns and just using bombs to collect so many resources at once. That's really what I should be spending some of my time on. All right, let's go back to, oh, um, yeah, we're gonna go back to the bus stop because Thankfully, Rosestone is an extremely smart horse, and she will find her way back home. And we'll sell off some of the stuff we've collected. And then I've actually got to go to bed. I feel like it's Robin. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, oh, man, it's so late. I better go to bed. And Robin's just out here, like, working endlessly. She's so amazing. Um, should I sell some of these things? No, I could sit on top of all of this, I suppose. Uh... I might as well sell the amethyst for now, even though I'm like not entirely happy to do that. But I don't really need to keep it for any specific reason other than I just love collecting those things. And let me come up and gather these. I need to get a whole bunch of different fruits that I can shove in there. And I can get some of those started up. And how much copper do I have? I actually have a lot of copper bars. So I'm not nearly hurting for copper bars as badly as I thought I was. So that's a good thing. All right, and then leave the clay and I'll sell some of the rest of the stuff and put the rest of it into my special spots. And off we go. All right, you guys. Well, that was kind of a short day, but that's my fault because at least I have a new sword. I am so irritated. That other sword I've had for so long. It's been like two years of gameplay and I've only been able to collect that many swords um, as special drops. So it is really annoying <laughs> to lose them because they're not exactly easy to replace when it's special drops like that. I'm not even sure how many special drops you can even have in the game uh, that are weapon-based like that. So huh, who knows? Who knows what the value of what I lost truly was? And I'm going to stick these away. But I forgot my prehistoric skull. The second prehistoric skull that we found is still in the skull caverns too. So I definitely want to go and get that too. All right. Oh, got to climb into bed. Gotta go to sleep before I pass out. Let's see if anything happens in the night. Man, fall is going by so fast. I'm glad I remembered it was Jody's birthday. Woo! And we actually made a ton of money. So that's wonderful. And looks like the majority of that money was made. Cranberries and actually that gold star ancient fruit we sold. Nice. All right. We'll have to think about if we want to save all of it for the wine or if we just want to go ahead and start, start selling the actual ancient fruit. But all right, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.